In a thought-provoking statement, Sadhguru challenges the conventional notion of heaven, asserting that there is no heaven other than our planet Earth. This perspective delves deep into our understanding of spirituality, human existence, and our relationship with the environment. Let's explore this profound insight further. Sadhguru's teachings often center around profound truths that question established beliefs. His view on heaven challenges the traditional religious concept of an afterlife paradise, shifting the focus to the present moment and our earthly existence. According to Sadhguru, the idea of heaven as a separate realm is a human construct, often shaped by cultural and religious narratives. He emphasizes that the true potential for a heavenly experience lies in our ability to nurture and harmonize with the natural world around us. Sadhguru's teachings underline the interconnectedness of all life forms and the environment. He advocates for a deeper spiritual connection with nature, highlighting that every aspect of creation, from the smallest organism to the vast ecosystems, is interconnected and sacred. By emphasizing Earth as our only heaven, Sadhguru calls for responsible environmental stewardship. He encourages mindfulness in our actions, urging us to protect and preserve the planet for future generations and all living beings. Sadhguru's teachings promote living mindfully and consciously in the present moment. Rather than waiting for an afterlife reward, he emphasizes experiencing joy, peace, and fulfillment here and now through inner transformation and outer harmony. Sadhguru's vision extends beyond individual well-being to global harmony. He emphasizes the importance of transcending boundaries of religion, nationality, and culture to work together for the betterment of humanity and the planet. In conclusion, Sadhguru's perspective on heaven as earth challenges us to re-evaluate our priorities, reconnect with nature, and live harmoniously with all life forms. It invites us to see our planet not just as a place to reside, but as a sacred space deserving of reverence and protection. Embracing this profound insight can lead us to a more fulfilling and sustainable way of life, both individually and collectively. Now listen to this short video of Sadhguru expanding the concept of heaven and using a funny story to explain in detail how to master your two main adversaries of memory and imagination. <laughs> you know, there have been such instances or maybe you're planning to go to heaven. Hello? Anybody who talks about a place other than this place, as a better place than this, this is a crime against humanity. My fundamental work is to destroy all heavens so that people will learn to live well here. All these idiots who made a hell out of themselves, they want to go to heaven. They made a mess out of this place and then they want to go to heaven. I am asking you, do you have any proof? Do you have any proof that you are not already in heaven and messing it up? Do you have any proof? You are already in heaven making a mess out of it, yes? Simply because you are not even learning how to handle your basic faculties of thought and emotion, isn't it? Your only justification is, everybody is like this only, that's how it is in a madhouse. <laughs> that is how it is in a madhouse, only a doctor looks crazy. <laughs> so when are you going to handle it? Slowly, at the age of sixty, I'm asking. When will you learn how to handle my thought, how to handle my emotion, how to handle my body, how to handle my chemistry? When are you going to figure this? At the end of your life? Because this culture has grown. When to do spirituality means when you're seventy, when you're no good for anything else. No, at the earliest possible time, whatever is most profound about you, not about heavens, about this life, everything that you need to know, you must know soonest, isn't it? Only then you'll live a sensible life. Okay, if I tell you a joke, you won't get offended. Because this is the most serious crowd I've ever seen in the last few years <laughs> How many of them are journalism? <laughs> most of them. Okay. <laughs> this happened. Shankar and Pillai, when he was in Paris, was mar married to a French woman. One day, uh, it was uh, their anniversary, 
first anniversary. So she invited a bunch of friends and she wanted to cook something really fresh, everything fresh. So from morning she was driving him to this market, that market, he got this fresh vegetables, fresh meat, fresh chicken, this, that, everything. Then in the evening she said, because the French have this, uh, you know, snail appetizer, she said, go to the beach and get some snails, fresh and I will make some appetizer for all the friends who are coming. So Shankaran Pillai uh, went to the beach and he was picking up all the snails and putting it in a bucket. Then he met an old friend, an Indian guy. They hit it off and they were talking about their old times, he just forgot that he's married. <laughs> you know, when you meet old friends it happens. <laughs> and uh, both of them went to a bar and they had a few drinks and he just forgot. Then he realized, then the snails were just climbing out and talk one fa snail fell out of the bucket. He realized, oh my god, I'm supposed to take these snails, my wife, French wife, she's waiting. So he said, I need to go and he went. By then it was already very late. He went, he knew it's not going to be pleasant. <laughs> so he came near the house and spilled all the snails on the ground, threw away the bucket and uh, went and knocked on the door. The French fury came. <laughs> he turned back and said, come on you guys, we're almost there, come on, let's go <laughs> So, when are you going to pick your snails and put them in the bucket and fix them? <laughs> huh? Your problems, you must fix them, isn't it? These are not problems. I want you to understand you are not suffering your life. You are only suffering two fantastic faculties that only… It's a privilege of being human that we have these two fantastic faculties. One is, we have a vivid, vivid sense of memory. This is because of this memory our life is so rich, unlike any other creature. And we have a fantastic sense of imagination. As we conclude this exploration of Sadhguru's concept of heaven on earth, I invite you to delve deep within your soul and contemplate the profound wisdom shared. Remember, heaven is not just a distant realm, but a state of being that we can cultivate here and now. Take a moment to reflect on how you can contribute to creating a heavenly experience on earth through your actions, thoughts, and connections with others. Embrace the interconnectedness of all life and the beauty of our planet. I encourage you to subscribe to our channel or platform to stay connected with transformative insights and discussions like this. Share your thoughts in the comments below. How does Sadhguru's message resonate with you? How can you embody the concept of heaven on earth in your daily life? Let's continue this journey of self-discovery and collective harmony as we strive to make our world a true reflection of heaven. Thank you for joining us, and may your path be filled with light and understanding.